And there's the gun. Bartoletta got away well. Now Tori Bowie coming on. And English Gardner as they come to the line. Bartoletta, Bowie, and Gardner. I think Gardner, I think Gardner got, it. got it. I think Gardner got it. 10-74. The wind is legal. So with a new personal best, the Oregon Duck, English Gardner, pulls the upset, handing Bowie her first loss of the year. Bartoletta in second. Bowie has to settle for third. And look at how fast those times are. 10.74 to win. 10.78 only got you third. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I praise you. I give you so much glory. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the emotion, Tom, of somebody who was here four years ago and did not see the Olympic team. She comes back and finds a way to not only get on the team, but to win in a new personal best. That's one of the fastest times ever run. 10.74 for the Oregon Duck, English Gardner. In fact, for the top three, it's one of the greatest finals in history. Here's the end of the race. Look at English Gardner, who found a way to keep her composure in the last 50 meters and had a clear win, four hundredths of a second, over Tiana Bartoletta, who has now, Tom, made the Olympic team. In two events, she's already going in the long jump. But look at the start. And English Gardner in lane five got a good start and led early. Here comes Bartoletta. Tori Bowie pressed, and that's why she wasn't able to get to the line first as Gardner gets there. One of the greatest races you'll ever see. He, she's equal, Tom is Gardner, to equal seventh fastest of all time. So peaking at just the right time as she books her ticket to the Rio Olympic Games. Here are the official results. Again, one of the greatest finals in history is in the books and English Gardner the former Oregon runner is the winner in 1074 Bartoletta and Bowie also on the team